Hey everyone, this is Brad Royball and we are doing a video today for lab 2.6, what goes up in unit two. Um, so the first prompt in lab 2.6 is that we want a script for this dino sprite right here on this right side of the stage and make it a little bit bigger for you is uh, we want so that when the green flags clicked, dino goes to the top of the stage, falls towards the bottom of the stage in a forever loop and then hits the ground and stops. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this forever uh, portion right there and move it a little bit down and I'm going to go to motion I want the dino script to start at a defined position um, I already worked on this a little bit so I know what numbers I want to start at I want to start at um, for X I sort of want to start at negative 100 just to have it on a particular side of the stage and then um, Y I'm going to put as let's say 180 I think that was a good solid amount and then the second thing I'm going to do, let's click stop, is put my forever loop up here. And while everything is going on, I want uh, dyno to move downward. So I'm going to say change Y, since that's our vertical axis, by negative 2. Now when I click this flag, you can see dyno starts at the bottom and comes on down. Um, so the second thing I want to do is set it so that if the dyno is touching um, one of these colors down here, we stop, because that should be our ground, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an if statement, I'm gonna pull it from over here, and I want to check a particular condition. So the condition that I wanna check, I believe should be in sensing, um, is this block right here, this touching block. So what this block does is it basically checks and gives true if a, uh, if a, if whatever character you know or sprite we're in um, touches that particular color. One way to use this block that's going to make it, you know, obviously I can't check every single color for the particular one that I want is going over here to the right. And you can see as I move my mouse across the screen, that color changes. So what I want to do is check for when my dino hits this color right here. So what I'm going to do is actually move this a little bit differently. I want to have this if statement right here, and I only want to change Y if I'm not touching that color. So the thing I'm going to do is, I believe we've looked at it in some of the previous lessons, but we're going to use this not block right here. So basically what we're checking now, if you can see how I have it set up, is that if my dyno is not touching this green color, we want to change Y by negative two. So if I hit stop and I click this Again, you'll see that the dyno stops once he hits that green color right there. So I'm going ahead and click stop again. Uh, the next part of this lab is that we want to um, basically modify the code so that the dyno will start on a random X coordinate on the stage. So that's pretty easy. We've seen this random block before if you've been watching some of my other videos. Um, but that is going to be in, I believe, variables. And I'm going to pick random. So that is right here. I uh, believe, where is my pick random? I know it should be in here somewhere and I'm completely lost it. Uh, pick random, right there. So I'm gonna pick random, I'm gonna put that inside X. Now this function is going to run every time I click start and it's going to pick a random number and I want it to be between negative 240 as the lab defines it to 240 which is pretty much the entire length of my screen. Now you can see whenever I click this Dino is going to fall from a different area of the screen. Um, finally, the next part that we want to do is make it so that any time that the dino uh, is falling, we stop if we are either touching the ground or touching the platform sprite. So what I want to do is actually pull this out right here and use an or operator. So I want to check two conditions now. If we are not touching that, and I'm going ahead and duplicate this, place it right there. I'm taking out this condition and we're going to a slightly different condition. So this time we're going to check, and I'm sorry, we're gonna to go to sensing and use our other touching block right here. So we're gonna do touching and then I believe our sprite is called um, platform. So I select platform right here. Now this or block will say true if we are either uh, not touching the green or not touching the platform. So actually I want this to be an and block I believe so we're gonna slightly switch that up and this is what I want both of those to be true if one of them is not actually I feel like I'm I keep switching this around let's go ahead and see if this works the best way to check it is to test it 
So now if we click that and it goes all the way through. So I believe that means we would want to check our and instead to see if only one of those is correct. There we go. So you can see now Dino will stop if he touches the platform and now if he's above it, he also stops when he's touching green. And that is how you complete the first part of lab 2.6, what goes up.